But today is all about the LDV with 42,000. Now, I always rate the LDV. It's comfortable, it's big. Cup holders. Now, we know I put the uh, iDrive in, which is no drama. It's just easy to drive, easy to clean. Lots of room. You can see in the back, kids are in there. Uh, my cycling gear. But there's just lots and lots of room. Um, and I've never really had an issue. I've had no dramas whatsoever until today. I've seen something and, uh, well, not today, last week. I've seen something and I think it's going to be a bit of a big issue. Um, now, forget about this one because I dropped my phone and then I went straight through and knocked the, uh, the uh, sticker off for the gear selector. PRNS, PRND, I guess, is, is what they are. Park reverse, neutral drives, that's not hard. So let's get out and have a look at uh, what the big drama is. All right, settle down, mate. So everything looks fine. The car's in good condition. It's got 45,000 Ks on it. The new Maxxis Razors are going well. No issues. Everything's been fine. Uh, so I only really use this car for my highway driving between uh, the towns that I live. But then up on a closer inspection, I looked up here. Paint peeling? Paint peeling? Paint peeling? And the whole roof is all falling apart on me. Now, this car is two years old. Five year warranty, so I'm not phased. But I do believe this, uh, can't really see that sun. I do believe this is a common problem in the LDVs, where the paint just comes apart. Now, I know a lot of people rag out the, uh, the LDVs and the, uh, the Chinese import cars and uh, give them a lot of heat but you know I really had no issue with this car whatsoever uh, like I said it's one of my favorite cars to drive and um, it's comfortable it's spacious it's good for the kids to drop off and go to school uh, throw the scooters in the back throw the bikes in the back tray it's just easy uh, and for what I paid for it at 28,990 maybe brand new uh, two years ago now um, I've never had any drama uh, not like a lot of other people have had dramas, you know, every car, there's lemons, there's issues, and uh, and the LDV was no different. Um, so the paint on the roof now is a problem. So this, what well, now, I've gone through the whole car, and I can see that there's no real rust issues. I don't believe there's rust issues like the other ones. Um, it's just that paint on the top roof. Now, I've sent emails off to my local dealer, uh, the sales department, the sales people who have bought it off, um, the... I think it was like three or four different email contacts I had. Uh, sent it off to all of them. I'm gonna say Friday. If it wasn't Friday, it was Monday. Um, and today is Saturday. So, and to this day, I've had the zero reply. Not one, not one reply. Now, this is the part that's concerning because I know it'll get fixed eventually. It's a warranty issue. They have no choice, right? You, you can fight these things to, to the end and you'll get it done eventually. Um, and, but... The problem is going to be it's going to be exhausting and i just know they haven't replied now they're not going to reply for another three weeks if ever i'm going to have to go there i'm going to have to go through the process and submit this and get warranty and it's going to be a headache and i know it's going to go on for six months 12 months who knows how long um but all i know is the paint's coming off the roof it shouldn't be that hard i'm sure they've dealt with it a lot so they should just be able to go thanks for your inquiry bring the car in we'll do an assessment and then we um We'll do an assessment and then we can uh, go from there, get some quotes, get it fixed, whatever. But they haven't done that and it's gonna drag on four weeks and it's gonna be a hassle. And I'm pretty patient, but I just know that it's gonna take a long time and that's gonna be really, really annoying. But I'm gonna document it and we're gonna see what happens. And um, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, they've already got it, they're miraculously doing what they can and, um, and it's on someone's desk and they're gonna action it next week. and. Who knows, all could be good, and I'll be doing a raving review on the uh, on the local place looking after it, but I really don't want to be dragging this on for months and months on end and doing video after video after video. I just want my car. I like it. I like driving it. It's easy to drive. 
but I don't want to have no paint on my roof in the next two years, so I'd like to get that fixed. So, stick along and let's see how this plays out. <laughs> 